हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम हितेश अग्रवाल वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल पीएचपी एकेडमी अगेन इफ यू आर डेवलपर्स एंड वांट टू टेस्ट योर ईमेल्स इन लोकल सो टुडे वी आर कवरिंग मेल हॉक सो मेल हॉक इज जनरली यूज्ड फॉर ईमेल टेस्टिंग इन लोकल सो इफ यू वांट टू टेस्ट योर ई फॉर ऑर्डर रजिस्ट्रेशन और एनी अदर ई इन योर लोकल सो रादर देन कनेक्टिंग विद लाइव एस एम टी पी और मेन uh you can connect with your uh, connect with mailhawk uh, and uh, and test your applications email so before proceeding if you are new to our youtube channel please subscribe my channel and be updated with our new latest uh, uh, topics let's proceed to our screen so today we will install mailhawk using two methods one is with docker and another is with the uh, without docker so if you are docker person uh, if you are using docker uh, on daily basis or if you have a little bit knowledge of docker so i will suggest you to use the docker and install the mailhawk and uh, if you are not using docker so also i will uh, show you how you can install without docker so let's set up first uh, with, uh, with docker this is our command to install the mailhawk using docker this command you will find in my description box as well so before uh, start i am just changing my port because i am also using mailhawk without docker uh, with the same port so to avoid any conflict let's change i will just start it so you will see uh, my mailhawk is has been installed okay and it will run on 1026 so let's go to screen and see how it works so you can see mailhawk it is connected okay and it's working fine and and now we need to integrate this with the our magento so to to use it in our magento you have to install mesh plaza extension it's free so you can install it i will add its link in my description box so here you can see uh, you can enable smtp and you can go to smtp configuration you can just write here local host and port 8026 as you can see sorry and port 1026 and you don't have to uh, make any other further changes uh, so you just you can just save it and to verify that the configuration is working so you can use here uh, you can just simply type your email id i i will type my email id it will not send any real email it will just go to your mail hook so don't worry about it so i will just so it gives me send successful and you can see in your email who so you have received the email so your mails hog settings is working fine further to check uh, we will just register is but so i have registered and you can see my another email okay so it's working and uh, you can use it for your web uh, for your project okay now i will show you how you can install without docker so go to your command so first of all you need to install golang so this is the command if you do apt get that's why install golang this go okay so i'm not running this command because i have already installed this so i i will add this command in my description box next command is go get github so make sure you have github installed 
otherwise you need to install github as, as well okay so these commands you can run okay next command is wget and this github mail hook to uh, github path so it will download your mail hook linux so this also these also commands i will add in my description box and after that you need to run this command sudo chmod so permissions mail hook okay so you need to give the permissions execution permissions to your mail hook and finally you need to add your mail hook service into this file etc system d system mail hook services here you need to change your path uh, for in my cases my mail hook uh, linux amd64 file is in this folder and if you are uh, saving your if you have downloaded your mail hook file in another folder so you can give path accordingly okay so finally i will start my mail hook service okay so my mail hook service has been started so we will go to our browser and we will see okay. so you can see mail hook service okay so here you can see uh, mail hook with 8026 which is with docker okay and this mail hook service is without docker so if i will change my port here 10 instead of 1026 if i will use 1025 So and if I will test my email, woohoo, it's working fine without Docker mail hog as well. Okay, so if you, now if you will see the mail is here, okay, in 8025, which is without Docker, it will not be here. Okay, here you will not find this email. So now my Magento is connected with my local mail hog, but not Docker's mail hog. Okay. So hope uh, friends, uh, my this video uh, may be helpful for you and uh, you can use it for your local development. Okay, so please like my video if you found this uh, helpful for you and be connected with us and for our future uh, topics. Thank you so much.